mother has taught, um, I'm teaching, my daughter wants to teach. Obviously it's something in our, our genes or, or what we've learned by living in this family about that teaching is very important, very rewarding. Teaching is just this wonderful profession where I get paid to go into a room with these amazingly intelligent and creative young women and discuss literature with them. I fantasize about being a professor at a small liberal arts college in New England. There you go. I think I, I became a chemist primarily because I had great chemistry teachers. I had a terrific high school chemistry teacher. And then in college, I, my chemistry professors from the start were, were really excellent. You react methane with oxygen, and it combusts to make CO2. I think in general it's important for students to gain confidence in their own ability to figure things out. As a woman scientist, I think that's particularly important. Women tend to experience the imposter syndrome, I think, more than men and feel that they aren't really as good as people think they are. And so I think it's really important to help students gain confidence from Chem 111 on. Um, I think we work as a department really hard because a lot of people come to chemistry very not confident about their ability in chemistry and people will say over and over again, I'm just bad at chemistry, which is probably not true. Chemistry is a big thing and you're probably not bad at everything. You know, my colleague Lala Burke is really interested in the history of, of chemistry and science and I'll often get really interesting information from her to share about, you know, the historical background of some of these discoveries. When Kate and I taught for the first time together in our beginning introductory course. This was one of the best semesters I had at Smith. I looked forward to those classes. I learned new approaches to teaching and for instance she would do daily problem sets. If you are in music it's daily practice and if you don't do that daily practice you do not master the material. We had a, a history of we would do weekly problem sets. So you would assign a problem set and it would be due on Wednesday. And the students would essentially forget about it until Tuesday night, and then they'd stay up till you know, 3 a.m. Wednesday morning, get it done, be really sleepy, come to class, and not really retain anything. Kate decided that that was not the best way for students to learn. The best way for them to learn was to work on chemistry every day. And that's been a huge shift in our department. And now, because of Kate's creative thinking, um, we now do that in all of our intro classes in chemistry because we all see this is a much better way to get our students engaged. She asks us to write down our goals and she makes sure or to the best of her ability that those goals are accomplished. Step by step we came to understand chemistry by our own reasoning and not because we memorized something from the book or we learned how to use a formula, but we really didn't know what was behind it. But in her class, it was, oh yeah, that's what it is about, okay. I'm a biochemistry major, but after this semester with Kate, I, my interest in chemistry has just increased tenfold. And I was not at all a science student before I came to Smith at all, um, is that to have such a strong and funny and really intelligent female professor, and to have her be working with us and be sharing her lab with us is really cool and really important. There are sort of two main areas that my students have been working on in the lab. One area is um, understanding the chemistry of silicon surfaces. The applications there are microelectronics fabrication, so how do you make really perfect surfaces to grow the best possible transistors and integrated circuits when those devices get really, really small, um, even to the molecular level. The other area of research is understanding biofilm formation, so how biological organisms like bacteria stick to surfaces. And what we study is right now not the organisms themselves, but the molecules that they generally use to stick to surfaces, so large starch molecules um, and model proteins. I would have loved to have had her as a professor, as a chem professor. When we first started running together, she of course made cracks and remarks about differences in age and how I run pretty good for somebody who's so much older than she is. She would uh, make comments about how she's struggling in the pool with her swimming, but then at the same time she would lap me three or four times in the pool. So um, 
you know, very, very modest person with a good sense of humor. And that, uh, I think that makes her special. Yesterday she went for a light bike ride or something and it was 40 miles. Oh, that's <laughs> Queen is a beast. <laughs> We did win the Smith 5K team title last year, you know, the Fast Chemists. P-H-A-S-T, the big H. It's fun to set goals and to try to improve its stuff. I enjoy that, it's challenging. It's always been, I mean, it's always been hard for me. I've never been, it's never been an effortless thing. But I always enjoyed trying to get better. That was a nice run. Thanks. Yeah. So what was your time? I think I just made it under 22. So I have two small children. Charlotte is six and a half and then just started first grade and Patrick is three and a half and just started preschool. My husband John teaches at UMass. My husband cooks dinner all the time. We should have that on tape. So he's the cook. Um, although I think I'm going to have to cook some this year. That developed when the children were over at Smith, and so I would pick up the children and bring them home, and he would go home and start dinner and have dinner ready. Mom, do you think I'm being very good? I really do. You are, Patrick. pretty impressed. Yeah. I think we should have some videotape every dinner. I think so, too. So this is our new space, and when the students saw it, they were totally amazed um, because it's, it's bigger um, than our old space, and it's just laid out so they can, they can all work here at once. They can do experiments. They can analyze their data in the lab. I'm just always amazed at how talented she is in everything, um, you know, from going to Williams, going to Harvard, doing uh, a Fulbright Fellowship in between. I mean, she now, is lose energy. just an amazing scholar. Energy, and so I guess it's good that... You know, if I go out and play tennis with her, I realize that, you know, she, she's not great at everything.